we all got 230 this morning there was a youngster standing at gate number 3 and uh, they were discussing something among themselves that i can say for sure that it was an argument or the way but somehow in the course of uh, their discussion among themselves one of them got pushed and then in the panic that ensued they started running here there the crowd was so heavy so thickly packed in the process the other got collaterally pushed and in the confusion and the panic that ensued they started running helter skelter without actually knowing what had actually happened so it dragged down and that's how it happened the reassuring part of it out of this entire thing is that prime minister shri narendra modi himself right from the beginning keeping a track speaking personally to all the functionaries there all the officers the left and governor and trying to provide all kind of assistance and personally not only expressing concern concern but also advising what the kind of support that is to be provided संभावना तो रहती है नौ वर्ष पर निश्चित रूप से जो अभी तक देखा गया था और प्रशासन उस प्रकार की व्यवस्था में लगी भी हुई भी थी और नीचे से भीड़ को नियंत्रित करके ही भेजा जा रहा था लेकिन गेट नंबर तीन के पास ज्यादा ही भीड़ इकट्ठी हो गई क्योंकि नीचे से लोग आते 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 जहाँ से दर्शन के लिए पंक्ति बनता है गेट नंबर तीन के तरफ से लोग जाते हैं और निश्चित रूप से आ, ज्यादा ही भीड़ हो गई थी कोई डिस्टेंस मेंटेन करना चाहिए थी वो हो नहीं पाया ज्यादा भीड़ और वहाँ की जो स्थिति है प्रशासन ने निश्चित रूप से वहाँ इस चीज को नियंत्रित रखता है लेकिन ढलान और अनबैलेंस और ज्यादा भीड़ आप यहाँ कहीं दोमत नहीं कि भीड़ ज्यादा इकट्ठी हो गई थी और यह भीड़ इतनी इकट्ठी नहीं होनी चाहिए थी इस प्रकार से एक घटना तो बहुत दुखद है जो इंजर्ड हैं अभी तक उनको डायरेक्ट श्राइन बोर्ड की तरफ से नारायणा में उनको जर इलाज किया गया है तो एग्जैक्ट नंबर उनका भी अभी मेरे पास नहीं है कि कितने इंजर्ड हैं उसमें लेकिन श्राइन बोर्ड ने रेस्क्यू ऑपरेशन चला के तो उनको सबों को शिफ्ट कर दिया है नारायणा हॉस्पिटल All right let's take a quick listen to what the eyewitness who's watched that entire stampede unfold had to say on this incident नॉर्मल ये हो सकता है कि श्राइन बोर्ड ने जो भी लोगों को छोड़ा यहाँ से वो एज्यूम करके छोड़ा कि भाई आप वहाँ पे दर्शन करेंगे वापस आ जाएंगे बट ये हो सकता है लोग वहाँ पे इकट्ठे हो गए उन्होंने दर्शन करके वहीं पे रुक गए तो वहाँ पे पूरा एक मास गैदरिंग हो गई सर स्टैम्पेड ही हुआ है सर स्टैम्पेड इसलिए हुआ क्योंकि लोग इतने ज़्यादा थे रास्ता था नहीं हर तरफ से आदमी सोचा था कि मैं निकल जाऊँ मैं निकल जाऊँ जिसने दर्शन कर लिया वो भी सोचा था मैं पहले निकल जाऊँ और जिसने दर्शन नहीं किया तो सोचा मैं पहले आके दर्शन कर लूँ और बल्कि एक बार इससे पहले भी हुआ था बट वो समाव बहुत माइनर था उसमें किसी को चोट नहीं थी कोई हताहत नहीं हुआ था लोग ठीक ठाक थे All right let me quickly cut across to Sunil ji bhai joining us from Jammu Sunil please take us through exactly how this incident unfolded we know that new year's eve people are flocking in large numbers aren't there any covid protocols every state have come out with curbs large gatherings have been strictly banned and here you see thousands of people who've landed up at the mata vaishno devi shrine to pay their obeisances uh, all with all due respects what have the authorities done to ensure added security on the night of new year's expecting very well that crowds will gather in large numbers uh well abila every year you know on the occasion of the new year uh, people like you said flock to the religious shrines and here at the mata vaishno devi shrine also a large number of people you know uh, assemble particularly during you know auspicious occasions like deepavali navratri as well as on the occasion of the new year so last night there was heavy rush of yatris although there are covid protocols in place a uh, limited number of yatris are allowed per day but still a large number of people managed to reach the bhavan area and then as the union minister dr jitendra singh was saying that uh, at that near the gate number 3 at the holy shrine of mata vaishno devi there was an argument that broke out between few youngsters and uh, suddenly uh, this argument you know turned ugly and there was a stampede that occurred there and unfortunately 12 people lost their lives while 13 others were injured uh, the injured were immediately rushed to the hospital uh, in katra and uh, the treatment is on but uh, it's being reported that a few of them are in serious condition but doctors are trying their level best uh, to save their lives 
but uh, Nabila, unfortunately, uh, 12 people have been killed in this incident. It's a terrible start to the uh, new year. Um, and a large number of people had gathered there. They wanted to pay obeisance at the holy shrine of Mata Vaishnav Devi on the occasion of the new year. Uh, so, although COVID protocols are, are in place, but still a large number of people managed to reach there. Uh, a high-level inquiry has been ordered. Union Home Minister Amit Shah has spoken to the Jammu and Kashmir Lieutenant Governor, and he has briefed him about uh, LG. JNK LG has briefed. the home minister about the incident he has also briefed the prime minister prime minister narendra modi has expressed uh, his sorrow over this incident and uh, the jnk administration has announced a compensation of rupees 10 lakh uh, for the kin of uh, the dead and 2 lakh rupees for the injured well uh, here you have information coming in that uh, at least 13 people have been injured unfortunately let's take a listen quickly to the eyewitness who really seen this incident unfold normal ye ho sakta hai ki shrine board ne jo bhi logo ko choda yahan se wo assume karke छोड़ा कि भाई आप वहाँ पे दर्शन करेंगे वापस आ जाएंगे बट क्या हो सकता है लोग वहाँ पे इकट्ठे हो गए उन्होंने दर्शन करके वहीं पे रुक गए तो वहाँ पे पूरा एक मास गैदरिंग हो गई सर स्टैम्पेड ही हुआ है सर स्टैम्पेड इसलिए हुआ क्योंकि लोग इतने ज़्यादा थे रास्ता था नहीं हर तरफ से आदमी सोचा था कि मैं निकल जाऊँ मैं निकल जाऊँ जिसने दर्शन कर लिया वो भी सोचा था मैं पहले निकल जाऊँ और जिसने दर्शन नहीं किया तो सोच मैं पहले आके दर्शन कर लूँ और बल्कि एक बार इससे पहले भी हुआ था बट वो संभाव बहुत माइनर था उसमें किसी को चोट नहीं थी कोई हताहत नहीं हुआ था लोग ठीक ठाक थे All right, we have a BJP spokesperson Dilbag Singh, who's spoken to India today on the same. Let's take a listen. See, last night uh, at around 2:30 p.m., an incident uh, of ten people was near gate number three of Pata Mashkin Devi. In the clock room adjacent to the place where people keep their parcels now in the front of the station, and queues are made for. Uh, Proceeding further to the shrine for darshan, uh, that is the place where uh, this incident started. Uh, during the incident, uh, uh, quite a good number of people were injured. Uh, police, CRP, and Mata Mashkin security staff, civil staff, everybody came to the rescue. They were very quickly evacuated to uh, hospital at Patra Narada Hospital. All right, I'm going to cut across to Sunil Ji, but for more on that, Sunil, uh, here you have the DGP saying very clearly, uh, Dilbag Singh, who's mentioned on how the protocols are being taken now post the incident. You have uh, officers there who are in uh, full view, trying to ensure that people who are present there currently are in safe hands. But of course, this is uh, really spread fears among the number of families who have their people currently at the. Mata Vishnu Devi Shrine, who are paying their obeisance. Uh, what kind of protocols now to be ensured that people there are safe, and also in view of the Omicron threat? Take us through the details. All right, I'm going to try and patch him back again. Here you have. The Mata Vishnu Devi Shrine, where at least 12 people have died. The incident has occurred at 2:45 a.m. post the 12 midnight, post the New Year's celebration. In fact, you have many devotees who landed up at the Mata Vishnu Devi Shrine to give pay their respects. At a time like that, uh, it appears that officials were hesitating to give out passes um, and slips to those. Considering the numbers, the overwhelming numbers, and many of them entered the Mata Vishnu Devi Bhavan even without a slip, resulted in an argument that broke out, and eventually, we're seeing a stampede that's uh, reportedly killed 12 people. You have Jammu and Kashmir DGP Dilbag Singh on the phone line. Let's take a listen what he had to say. See, last night uh, at around 2:30. Here, an incident uh, of ten people was near gate number three of Mata Vishnu Devi. In the clock room uh, adjacent to the place where people keep their parcels now in the front of the Gopal Station, and queues are made for uh, proceeding further to the Shrine for Darshan. Uh, that is the place where uh, this incident started. Uh, 
during the incident uh, uh, quite a good number of people were injured uh, police crp and other national security staff civil staff everybody came to the rescue they were very quickly evacuated to uh, hospital at katra narana hospital All right, we're going to continue tracking these developments here. Unfortunate news coming in. Mata Vaishno Devi Temple, the holy shrine. You had thousands who gathered post uh, 12 a.m. only to pay their respects at the holy shrine. Twelve people have been killed in a stampede that occurred post an argument. India Today continues to track those developments. We're going to take a short break right here. For more news, you could log on to indiatoday.in. You could also download our app for more. Stay tuned.